Hector National offense is back on the field. After that last pick, David, they really need to take care of the ball this time. No doubt. And Paul... He puts a lot of air under it down the sideline. And a big play on the outside. What a job to keep those feet in bounds and get the completion. Get a big play like that last one. You flip the field. You change the momentum. Now it's first and 10 from the 38. To the air, it's Jenkins. Hit hard just as he released it on first down and just couldn't get it to the receiver. Well, the offensive line has got to give him at least a little bit of time to survey the field. He had no chance that time getting hit almost immediately after he got the ball. Quarterback reacting to what the D is showing. After the incompletion, they go back up top. And he really needed to hold on to that one, but it was not loose, and third down is coming. Boy, guys, they got off to a great start with that big first play on this drive, but now a couple of incompletions leaves him in a hole. A shot toward the end zone. And it's caught! Touchdown, Florida International! And man, is that perfect timing. You can tell quarterback drops back. He sees his guy and he knows he's open. But watch the throw. Deep down the field, Palmer, right in the bread basket. Nice play, nice pitch and catch. He did a nice job of getting it up in the air early and allowing his guy to run under the football, locate it, and then make a tough grab. That is the definition of an explosive play. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point is good, and it's a four-point lead. And for a quick update, let's go to Kevin Connors in the studio. Week in and week out, guys. You never know what's going to happen in college football. Check this out. Jacksonville State sure is making it look easy today. What a spectacular performance on the offensive side of the ball. They're up 14 over New Mexico State. We'll circle back if anything big happens you need to know about. And how about that one? Kevin will be